So today I wish to discuss uh, not just the concept, but the reality of non-duality. And uh, a good analogy to use in terms of uh, what the universe is, is <clears throat> take an onion, like an onion, <clears throat> And at the lower layers of the onion, you have you know, duality and contrast and conflict. But the, the more you peel the onion um, and relieve itself, uh, relieve it of its uh, many layers, at the very top of the onion, you have the the ultimate reality, which is non-duality. So in a sense, all this contrast and duality is projected from the non-dual or one perspective, essentially. And of course, because the mind is by default a dualistic uh, mechanism, it can't conceive of how that is done. So, if there's only one, or I am, uh, projected through infinite forms, humans, tables, towels, trees, I'm looking at everything in my environment, uh, a coffee cup, a book, the mind will be like, what? That makes no sense. Of course, because the mind is in that lower layer of the onion, which is in that denser dualistic system. So, in a sense, the one uh, created duality for the sake of exploration uh, or play you could say, like, like a video game, you know? So the, the essential um, quality or a character <clears throat> of the I am, or the one, the, the non-dual ultimate reality is uh, the kind of unfettered camera stare that you get in uh, art movies, art films, yeah, or uh, esoteric movies, uh, or world cinema. Yeah. Um, they use these long takes, basically. Uh, my favorite director happens to be Belatar, who's Hungarian. And he he would do these extremely long takes, uh, at least 10 minutes long, of just the camera fixed in one place, just watching. So that is the essential quality of the one self, or the I am. It's the eternal camera stare also known as Shiva consciousness, known as masculine consciousness, because the masculine is the holder of consciousness. It simply witnesses. It is eternity and the witness. <clears throat> Always watching, never sleeping. Eternal, awake, and aware presence. That. I am that. So, within uh, human experience, we have the mind, thoughts, emotions, events. And this is the content within this screen of consciousness. You could call it the Shakti or the feminine, the chaos, 
within the order of the one. So everything happens, all the thoughts, all the emotions. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> when the Buddha uh, came to incarnate uh, into this world, he um, essentially brought uh, atheistic people towards enlightenment and non-duality uh, through meditation, essentially, and uh, making people realize that you are not your thoughts, you are not your emotions, you are actually the sun or the sky, uh, free from all the clouds of conditioning or the passing clouds and the storms. So in a sense, the clouds and the storms and all the events and permutations of the weather, they are all like the mind, emotions, thoughts, behaviors, events within human experience. And it's so easy to get caught up in that so as to identify with that content, um, which is illusory. Um, I don't like to say illusory in the sense that it's not real, because everything is projected from the one. So whatever is projected uh, from the one is real, but it's illusory in the sense of, uh, well, the, the word illusion means play. Or um, that which is not is uh, called maya simply because uh, reality with the capital R is that which is eternal and fixed and unchanging, whereas everything, you know, day, night, uh, thoughts and emotions, these things come and go. They too are eternal because uh, there's nothing new under the sun. Uh, everything's like a variation on the same theme. Uh, but ultimately, uh, what is you or the eternal I am is the just the non-dual, non-judgmental awareness or presence or the uh, the unconditioned awareness like um, the sunshine, basically. So. Um, <clears throat> And this state uh, can't really be forced by any any means. It, it's just, uh, it happens when it happens, you know. No one has any control over it. So, so there we go. I, I just think it's an incredibly interesting concept um, <clears throat> or, you know, reality. And... Um, that the, the separation of you and I and this and that and what you like and don't like is really all mind-based and mind-made and that mind uh, is automatically set up to be uh, dualistic and the driving force of human experience which is why it's so easy to get caught up in it and so um, yeah, there we go. Uh, just thought I would share that perspective. But remember, the the the, the true self is really the um, or like uh, you know those experimental Andy Warhol uh, Andy Warhol uh, films that went on for like ages, twenty four, forty eight hours. That's still in time, but. It's just like watching the unfolding of life in all its colors and shades and permutations and forms coming and going. But the camera always stays on. It's always the same, fixed, unchanging, eternal. So in a sense, that is what the Absolute is.
So we are literally, as a, a shaman mentor of mine said, that we are uh, we are objective reality in a subjective experience. We've just zoomed in so much into subjectivity and so-called individuality. But the essential essence and quality is objective reality. And once that realization is how do you realize that this is just my character, this is a character in a play or a movie or, or a game. So uh, then we can really move from anxiety and needing to control things into just letting go and letting it live you play, essentially. So yeah, as ever, be free, have fun, and have faith. Till next time.